What's up guys, it's Jim with Awaken TCG, bringing you guys a really fun video today. Today we are going to be talking about the future of the One Piece card game. Now what do I mean by that? Um, I do not mean how long is this game going to last in the competitive scene, when does this game die off, is it lasting as long as Pokemon, right, is this going to be a mainstay in uh, your average card gamer's mind, that is not what I'm talking about. What I'm more talking about is the longevity of One Piece and the series itself um, and the finite amount of content that One Piece has to adapt into cards, right? Uh, there is not, there's a ton of characters in One Piece, but there is not an infinite amount of characters in One Piece. There is not an infinite amount of arcs. Um, we are getting very close to the point where there has been sets covering every arc in the set. So... That is what I want to talk about, um, especially after, as you can see on screen right now, the cover art of OPO7 has officially been revealed, if you guys never saw that, and it is going to be covering Egghead, which I thought was really interesting because Egghead is currently in the manga, um, just getting animated now, and the arc is not over, so there are still characters that we have yet to cover. Um, like, are we running out of content? Seriously. Um, like, why are we already covering an arc that uh, just started in the anime and is, you know, for all we know, like a year out of being finished in the manga? Uh, by the way, guys, if I have not mentioned it so far, I apologize. Uh, there will be big spoilers uh, in this video if you are not fully caught up with One Piece. Um, I am going to be talking about future arcs and stuff like this. Uh, so if you have not gotten there, um, please do be warned. Um, but yeah. Why are we covering arcs that are not even finished? Um, what if there's a character that gets revealed in Egghead towards the end here uh, that obviously is not going to be covered in this set because this set is already made and decided? Um, we should be covering old arcs, but... That, that's what I'm talking about, is we are kind of running out of that. What happens when we run out of arcs and all the arcs are covered? Um, what do we do from there? Um, so let's go over the arcs that have not been covered. These are the only arcs in the entirety of One Piece that have not been included in a set or a starter deck. So we have Little Garden. Uh, Little Garden, very early on in the story. We do not have a Dorian Bragi card yet. Um, we don't really have that much giant cards in general, uh, you know. I don't know really what you'd cover from this arc besides just Dory and Bragi, some dinosaurs, uh, you know, Mr. 3 and Mr. 5, but we already have them as cards, so it's kind of just these two characters in this arc itself. You really could not make, like, a whole archetype around Little Garden. You would really have to remake a ton of characters. Um, next up, Drum Island. We do not have a Wapple or, nor his subordinates as a card yet. Um... I also don't think we have Dalton yet either. Yeah, I think this whole arc of Drum Island really just hasn't been covered yet. Uh, so you could totally kind of do like a little garden Drum Island uh, set uh, as like half the set maybe. Um, you know, as much as I hate Wapple, uh, we do not have a Wapple card yet. So I think that that is something that is needed. Um, next up here, we have Amazon Lily has not been covered yet. Uh, that is hinted to be covered. There is like a boa leader with Amazon Lily hinted at being covered in OP07, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'm going to include that in the arcs that have not been covered yet. Um, yeah, none of none of Boa's followers or the members of the uh, of Amazon Lily Island, uh, the Kuja Pirates, whatever you want to say, um, none of them have been added to the game. Uh, I would love a Boa leader, and some of her uh, very interesting um, sisters would be very interesting, too. Um, and next up here, we have Long Ring, Long Land. <laughs> I know everybody does not really like this arc, uh, myself included. It is pretty funny, but obviously one of the only arcs in the story to this day that you can probably cut out, and it would make literally zero plot difference. You can cut... It's basically a filler arc that is not a filler arc. Um, but yeah, the Foxy and the Foxy Pirates uh, have not gotten cards yet. And I think they could be really funny cards. Uh, really annoying cards, I think, would be the best way to adapt them. Like, maybe you can make Foxy, uh, you know, a 20 health leader with, like, 1,000 power. Something really stupid. I think it could be funny. Really just, like, make absurd cards for Foxy. But, um... That is going to be it. These are the only four arcs in One Piece that I found going through the list of arcs that have not been covered. Every One Piece arc, uh, as of Egghead, OP07, has been covered except for these four. So, 
how many sets does this last us? Uh, don't ask me because, I mean, this might barely last us through OP08. Um, and what do we do after that, right? Um, but I do have some more ideas on other cards that uh, can be adapted and I think are a bit interesting that they're not in the game yet. Um, so where are these guys? The Blackbeard Pirates and the Roger Pirates do not have any cards yet. Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach, does have cards. Um, but him as Blackbeard does not have a card. Uh, the only Blackbeard cards we have are before he actually became a captain and amassed his crew when he was on Whitebeard's ship. So I think a whole Blackbeard, whether it be a starter deck or an archetype in any set in the future would be really awesome. Blackbeard is a great character and he has a lot of fun and interesting crew members here that just don't have cards yet. Shiryu does have a card, but that again, that is him and Impel down before he's on Blackbeard's crew. So I really do look forward to a Blackbeard. Um, leader and probably just his whole crew being his support support cards um i know there are people that have talked about possible blackbeard leaders effects and all the stuff like that as far as stealing card effects i know blackbeard tcg if you guys watch him has talked about that he's really looking forward to it and so am i uh and also the roger pirates how have we not gotten the roger pirates yet that is insane to me gold d roger the man who started one piece still does not have a card in the game not a character card, not a leader card. How does that happen? So this is something that they can still adapt. There are characters like this that are they are definitely holding on to for like a special starter deck in the future, like a, maybe a manga Roger and like a big like OPO 10 like celebration set. I don't know what they're saving these characters for, but when they do come out, I am really really looking forward to that. And other than these characters, um. What else can we adapt, right? Once we've adapted every character, once we've adapted every arc, what content do we really have to go on? Um, cover stories are something I, not sorry, not cover stories, cover art. Um, the color spreads that Oda does uh, before some chapters sometimes uh, kind of have alternate universe versions of the Straw Hats or other characters doing things. I think they could be a really cool thing to uh, include. I mean, whether they be alt arts or what, you can really just make a, a new set with these guys. This is probably the least likely that they do this. Like this one in particular is really cool. And I think it'd be awesome if they adapted onto cards. Um, just ca characters from flashbacks. I'm using Dr. Clover here as a main example. Dr. Clover doesn't have a card yet, but there are a ton of characters that we know and a lot of people love that died in flashbacks. Uh, spoiler, Odin included, um, that made it to the game, but people like Dr. Clover and Robin's flashback, um, Brooke's whole crew and his flashback, there's a lot of characters that aren't in the main story anymore that definitely can be adapted, um, so I think that is an option for the future, and last but not least here, big spoiler, woo woo woo, if you do not, if you're not caught up with One Piece, Emu, the leader of the world government and the mastermind of everything, um, has not gotten a card yet. Uh, rightfully so. I don't think Eam should get a card yet. Uh, they definitely, we have not seen anything from them. We've seen like one attack and we have not seen what they actually look like. So definitely something that should not be adapted yet. But honestly, the fact that they're adapting Akehead already, I would not put it past um, the creators of this game to just say screw it and adapt Emu before we really get anything from them. So um, that is going to be it, guys. Um, if you have any ideas for future arcs or if you are uh, concerned about future content of this game, uh, let's have a discussion in the comments because I am really uh, wondering what they're going to do once they run out of characters to adapt. Like, we've already adapted films and stuff like that. So everything One Piece related... Uh, they are already dipping into so once the content runs out where do we go guys just reprint or uh, remake arcs with new art and new effects i really don't know please let me know in the comments but anyways you guys have a great day hope you enjoy the video i'm heading out peace